Hello, W4UYE here from SASQ. And today we're going to talk about a question that I get asked by a lot of new hams that are interested in getting into the Summits on the Air program. And that would be, what radio should I buy? Now, whereas there's a lot of different opinions uh, by different operators on the different types of radio they can buy, um, I've got an opinion that is a little bit less expensive and it will get you activating summits rather quickly and reliably. So if you stick around, we'll check that out. All right, so right here we have the ICOM uh, uh, 7. Oh, okay, okay, this is, this is too much. These things cost a fortune. And that's going to turn you off if you get into buying that. So let's put that away. Now a radio that I wouldn't have a problem recommending to a new ham would be the ICOM V86. Priced at around $100 in most places. This is a great radio for the starting technician to use getting into the soda hobby. The ICOM V86 has been manufactured by ICOM for a few years now. And what you're getting is a 2 meter only 7 watt mil spec handy talking. So the great thing about the V86 initially for using it for soda type activations is that it is water resistant and dust proof with the mil spec rating. The V86 also comes equipped with a B and C a B and C fitting so that you can attach uh, the antenna of your choice or a roll-up J-pole or a directional Yagi, any other type of antenna you want to use. Um, the battery is very substantial. Uh, it, I've, I've ran this battery probably 16, 18 hours, no problem. Um, and they're not that expensive if you want to buy an extra. Additionally, the radio comes with a desk cradle and a charger combination um, and it's uh, equipped for it can take the standard ICOM accessories and you can get like a shoulder mic or something for it last I checked this radio is priced in at about a hundred and nineteen dollars at most uh, ham radio retailers and uh, it's it's just a great radio to have I've used this one I've been using this since I got my technician license so I've been using this a couple years uh, it's been a great radio. I've had no problems with it. Um, the 7 watts is a little bit better than the average 5 watt handy talkie. And you can drop this thing, you could throw it, you could toss it, you step on it, throw it in your pack, and you're not going to have a, an issue with it. Um, the radio comes equipped with, a, B, with a, uh, a rubber ducky type antenna, but I replace most of my antennas with the uh, the signal stuff, signal stick antennas, the super flexible whips. Uh, this is great because you can actually take this antenna and you can tie it into a knot upon itself. And then that way, like if you have, uh, you know, if you just want to put it like this and put it on a radio, you can keep this antenna out of the way. And, uh, you know, it's out of the way from getting, from flapping you in the face with branches or when it gets caught on a branch or something like that. So these are uh, great antennas, and you can uh, replace that. And, th and they're not expensive either. So with this rig right here, um, I've activated countless summits with this rig right here. Um, it's, 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 it's simple, it's cheap, and it works. And so when somebody gets into the hobby and they're interested in getting like uh, a radio that they can use when they go out on a summit, you know, I'm going to vote for the V86 every time until they get their HF rating. And then I've got other recommendations. But initially, I'm going to say this V86 because this thing is built like a tank. The battery lasts a long time, and they're not going to have any problems out of it. So that, that's just a basic recommendation. And other people will have other recommendations. But for me, this thing has served me really well, and I, I've been quite pleased with it. No complaints whatsoever on my end. Uh, the most important thing about soda is getting out and doing it get out and operate you know get your knees in the breeze so to speak you want to be out there operating and this is going to allow you to do that just fine i've gotten contacts as far as 125 miles line of sight with this no problem uh, everybody hears me i get great signal reports and uh, you'd enjoy it so that's my recommendation for a good basic radio 
for the technician that's interested in getting into the hobby and getting into soda activating. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you have any questions, you be sure you can PM me or hit me up in the comments. This is W4UYE, and I'll be clear on your final.